and welcome to my channel. In this video I am showing you my brand new Pookie press in action. I have recently bought this press with my Christmas money and this is an A3 press. Pookie Presses is a British company run by Tim. I don't know his surname. He spotted a gap in the market during lockdown when lino printing got very popular. I have been following Tim's Instagram for a while. I originally bought a Sizzix Pro Shot as a cheap alternative to a printing press but I just didn't get on with it. Luckily, I found a buyer on Gumtree who bought it from me. Pookie presses are currently sold in four sizes. The smallest is the brand new A5 and the largest is an A2. I opted for an A3 as it fits my setup, which is an A3 acrylic sheet with my Turner's Burton buttons attached to it. As you can see, my small IKEA table doesn't leave much room for filming and it is a bit wobbly. So apologies if the camera shakes a little when I print. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the A3 press costs £275, so it is quite an investment. This press is sturdy and very well constructed. Purple is one of my favourite colours, so I was lucky to snap this beauty up and also managed to use a 10% discount. Who doesn't love a bargain? I started this hair block last year and thought now in the run up to Easter it was time to finish and print it. This block is a soft cut by SD and I don't think I will buy them again as they are a bit tricky to carve and also take a while to ink up. I prefer the SD master cut which is more like rubber and the easy carve and the blocks made by Speedball though they are not that cheap. My printing setup works for me as you can always add more ink and keep printing as you can see here. The paper I am using here is Smooth Heavyweight Paper by Dela Rowney, which has worked very well when I use the spoon and my glass baron. As you can see I have to put on considerable pressure. The frame didn't have enough ink so I had to repeat the process until I was happy. This happens often around the edges. It's always super important that you make sure that the area underneath your block is clean, otherwise you end up with smudges which are difficult to erase. So far I really like my new press. I have yet to test it with other inks such as water-based inks which I tend to avoid, but I have a few colors from Schminke and I have to test it with other papers. Using the press though is quite a workout for your upper body and I'm also quite small. During the print run I actually had to strip down to my vest 
as I got really hot. And here is my finished print. I hope you like it. I made a total of 14 prints for this edition and you can find this print with all my others on my website. You can find the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have a question, please feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by liking, sharing and subscribing. You can also donate via PayPal. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. Happy printing until next time.